I'm Kit Bailey, and I'm from Walden, New York, born and raised, uh, full-time student right now. Just like to build cars. Really what happened was I got the car, my first car, uh, the 92 Mustang. I got it at a really good deal, and it was all a part, but I couldn't pass up the deal. And, you know, I had Mike Melnick, who already had a 66 Mustang done, so I saw what it was like going out and racing, and I saw what it was like, you know, everyone complimenting you and just having your own car and build the whole thing. And I, you know, I had Mike as a mentor if I needed him. Yeah, you gotta keep that tight. Um, yeah, well, you're putting it up there. Just hold your hands like that. Yeah, and then... Come on, you're doing it. God forbid your little pansy hands get a little fucking dirty. You know, they basically told me it's not that hard and just learn how to do it. It's fun. Oh, uh, you should just tear the shut down this year. We are, actually. And that's what happened. Oh, man, the green car. Well, it looks the way it does because on race day, I had some suspension problems. Uh, I was going hard right all day. I, I decided to keep racing the car. And uh, I was at the end of the track doing 120, and the car pulled hard right, and it was either hit the guy next to me or hit the wall. So I just made a decision and put it into the wall. And uh, that's why it looks the way it does. Well, I drove home from Albany. And I just stopped in New Paul, so I'm like, I'll just hang out for a little while. And I'm like, nah, I'm just staying here. And like, I plan, I woke up at, I set my alarm for 7.30. Like, it's perfect. I had a half hour to go home, or did it go? No. She's like, my phone's going off. She's like, oh, here's your phone. Like, what time is it? 9 o'clock? I'm like, what the fuck, 9 o'clock? She's like, yeah. I'm like, she's like, your phone's been going off for two hours. I'm like, well, maybe somebody need to get in touch with me. You didn't think to fucking answer it? She's like, well, your alarm went off, but I didn't know if you needed to get up, so I just turned it off. So I'm like, are you kidding me? I showed up late because uh, the girl I was in bed with didn't let my alarm go off and didn't wake me up when my friends were calling me. So that's why I'm late. I spent $1,500 on this 86 Mustang because I see something that no one else does. I see the potential and that in a year after, you know, my time and the hard work in it, that the car is going to be what I want it to be. It's going to be out there running nines, it's going to be painted, it's going to look good, and it's going to be, you know, everything that the car should be. All right. Thank you very much. All right, uh, let, me, let me go, I'll give, uh, I'm gonna give Sean your number and have him call you. All righty. I will. All right, let him. I wouldn't be in building cars at all if it wasn't for the racing. You know, I, I wouldn't, you know, dump all this money into the cars and you know spend weekends in the dirt and you know all your free time and and you know getting all greasy and dirty if it wasn't for the racing. That's that's a whole part of it. I live to race. Just the adrenaline rush, man. It's just it's, it, you can't you can't describe it to someone who hasn't who hasn't been in a race car before. Someone who hasn't won. Someone who hasn't felt the horsepower and you know the G's when you pull when the slicks you know they grab and you're launching the car is just doing exactly what it's supposed to do, exactly how you built it, and it's just the best feeling. There's just something about building a car from the ground up and doing everything, the body work, the paint, the engine, the suspension, because then you know when you win, you won. It's not, you know, the car manufacturer, it's not, you know, your, you know the shop that did all the work, you did it, you built the car. You're gonna, there's day, gonna be days when you don't wanna keep going, you wanna spend any more money, but that one race, you know, that one perfect burnout, it just it makes it all worth it. Dude, I can't wait for the new car to get done, dude. It's gonna be insane. We're doing the P-51 paint job, so it's just gonna look like the World War II fighter plane. It's gonna have like 600 horsepower on motor, 
and it's only going to weigh, you know, like 2,800 pounds, so the car is definitely going to be going nines, and it's just, I can't wait. I'm so excited, man. Everybody else is, uh, has already been bugging me about trying to get it done, but when it comes out, it's going to be good. It's going to be a fast car.